This is bright here. In this video, I am going to illustrate how can we define our own copy constructor in C++ programming language. Suppose we have a class called student with some attributes, register number and name. Then we can create an object like this. And the same can be visualized as S1 with register number 123 and name as Matthew. Let us say that we want to create one more object S2 where it is represented as student S2 equal S1. Then whatever is available in S1, everything will be copied to S2. The same statement can be represented as student S2 of S1. Then whatever is available in S1, the, everything is copied to S2. And this copy operation happens with the help of default copy constructor. And S2 can be represented like this. Now we are going to see how can we define our own copy constructor instead of depending on the default copy constructor. Now look at the third statement. How the S2 is created? Student S2 of S1. Now we need a constructor where S1 can be received as an argument. Then we can create a constructor like this. So constructor student where S1 is received by a reference variable S yes, and it must be of type student because S1's data type is student. So S also must be of student data type. That is the class name. And S must be a reference variable. Otherwise, we will get a compiled time error. If we remove the S, it means an another object will be created. We don't want an another object to be created when we pass S1 as an argument to here. Whatever is available in S1, that should be given to S2. That's all. Then the reference variable S is represented as constant. And what is the impact of constant? During the illustration, I'll be explaining that part. Now, from the S, whatever is available, that is name and register number, everything can be given to the object S2, that is the invoking object or current object. We can say that S2's name equal S.name. The name represents S2's name. Like that, register number represents S2's register number equal S dot register number. The same constructor can be represented in an another format like this. So you can follow the first one or the second format. Now let us go to the demonstration. So let me create the class student. In private, I am keeping a register number, then name for the student. In public, I am going to create a constructor which can initialize the register number and name. So int number, the string data type, we can say that my name. Now what data we are passing to this number that should be given to register number for that register number of number followed by name of my name so the constructor is ready this constructor the purpose of this constructor is only to initialize the objects attributes that's all and I am going to put some getter method to access the register number and the name value separate getter methods I am going to place it so int get register number its purpose is just to return what is the value of register number. 
like that we are going to get the name for that get name we can say that return name of the student object so let us create the student first student object we can say that 123 and some name Matthew like this let us create the second student object student s2 of s1 now whatever is available in s1 that will be copied to s2 and this copy operation is supported by default copy constructor but now we are going to create our own copy constructor in this program so anywhere in the class but under public we need to create a constructor which can receive s1 as argument for that the constructor name must be same as that of class name student we need to receive s1 and s1's data type is student then it some variable but it must be a reference variable then colon we can say that the register number of s dot register number name s dot name then the body of the copy constructor we can put some display statement just to say that yes it is copied so that we will get some acknowledgement in the display either you can follow this constructor format or the other one which I shared this format also you can follow so the s1 is received by s yes. it means s is a reference variable for s1 now let us see whether everything is copied or not for that we can try with some c out statement c out for s2 let us put the register number first then we'll display the name for s2 s2 dot get name and we can see that yes whatever is available in s1 it is copied to s2 the same statement we can represent in a different manner i i commented it we can try like this student s2 equal s1 and you can see that we are getting this copied then 123 and matthew and in this slide i kept the reference variable as constant so what is the impact of constant do we need constant here or without constant but in this program even without using constant we are able to copy then what is the impact of constant we are going to discuss it in little more depth now s is a reference variable it means s is an alternate name for s1 s1 only we are passing it as an argument to the constructor our own copy constructor so s1 is referred by s it means we can say that s dot let us say that register number we want to put uh, one two one now we can see that s is a reference variable for s1 if you have any confusion in this line you may look at this commented line this s is a reference variable for 
S1. It means through S, whatever modification you do for register number as well as name, everything will be reflected in S1. So I just coded like this S dot register number. Let us see that whether it is really affected for S1 or not. We can check it, see out for S1, S1 dot get registered number. And you can really see that S1 is affected. But this, this is not the purpose of copy constructor. The purpose of copy constructor is whatever is available in S1 just give to S2 and it is violating the purpose of copy constructor. Now to restrict this operation we have to make the reference variable S as const. That's all. Now when we compile the program we can see that it is giving compile time error. Look at this error the file main.cpp in the line number 19 this line error it cannot assign to variable s with a constant qualified type const student reference variable it is because of the constant it is restricting such type of operation so this is not required and now let us see what is a outcome you can see that yes everything we are getting as expected so this is our copy constructor hope that we understood the concept of how to create user defined copy constructor thank you for watching it